I was pretty much vlogging from early on. And why didn't I continue doing it with YouTube? That is my regret. Back in 2007, I was going to vlog my day and my life. Back then I thought like, you know, it'd be pretty boring to see someone's daily life. Like, you know, I mean, my life was kind of uneventful. It kind of is uneventful now anyway. But at least back then it was a place to start. You know, you would have got your groove if I had just kept doing it, but I didn't. Going further back in 2005, I was taking my little Canon power shot along with me in my daily routine. It was sort of like recording my uneventful life. This is before the concept of vlogging was even a thing. You're a gentleman and a scholar. People who I showed the little videos to asked me who was recording me. They couldn't believe I was holding the camera by myself. Then afterwards, everybody was doing it. This is a little clip from a little video called Shopping Day. And I never did. Oh well. It's very sad. Miss that boat, like I've said before, and that's one of my biggest regrets. I should have started these in 2007 when I was gonna do it. Damn it! I missed that boat, didn't I? You know what? There's still another boat coming, and that doesn't mean that you have to miss that boat either, because you could take that boat and go with it. Don't miss the boat. And then going even further back, with a little black and white camera that I had, I was just recording myself saying a bunch of random nonsense. And I had hoped there was an audience, but there was no way of people looking at my little videos. Little did I know there was something going to be called YouTube a few years down the line. Wait a minute, was I actually worried about what my face looked like? I'm an idiot! How could you be worried about your face when you're a 18 year old, you little bitch? One of my other regrets, a big regret, was I loved the Muppets. Hey, and when I was um, in my 20s, I went to see them s film Sesame Street. A friend of my drama teacher uh, was a photographer. Because of him, I was able to go to the studio. And so I was there all day, uh, Unitel 55 in Manhattan, in the studio, watching them film. Uh, and I just stuck around. And, and then I, Jim Henson a couple times came to me and said, hello, you know. I kept wicking over and looking at me and smiling and laughing as he's filming and I'm just standing there in the corner being very quiet. I don't even know how or why they didn't throw me out. Even though I was very, very quiet and orderly. So, but then I spoke a lot to Richard Hunt, who uh, does uh, Gopher. We spoke about a bit and uh, he kept also saying, saying hi and stuff and I saw Kevin Clash there, Elmo. After I went home a week later, I said, you know what, I'm gonna call him. I called, I left a message, and he called me back. I said, Richard, what does it take to be a Muppeteer? And uh, he said, well, come by the studio Friday, and if I like what I see, I'll show you to Jim. Those were his exact words. And I didn't go, because I knew the TVs were reversed, and I had to like practice. But I was a good puppeteer, but just not that thing that scared me. <sighs> so I didn't go. I said, I'll go next year, I'll practice throughout the summer. Uh, and the next year, Jim Henson died. So um, I didn't get that chance. And maybe Jim wouldn't have liked what he saw and I would have not been doing any of it, but maybe I, I would have been doing. And I always think I could have been a Muppeteer if I had just done that. I know I would. And why didn't I do it? Because I got scared. Uh, I let fear what block my thinking. And I, I said, I didn't want to fail. Stupid, it's all is it stupidity? Because I mean, if I was smarter, I would say obviously they'll teach you that, just go in and show them. But I guess it wasn't uh, all up there in my head, or I just got scared and I let the fear cloud my oh, thinking. You're I don't such know. An idiot. But that's yeah, a good excuse. But anyway, that is my uh, big regret. Idiot. Don't make the same mistake I made. Um, Opportunities, you know, don't always come. You gotta take them when they do.
Yes, regret hurts. It really hurts. But you can't let it hinder you and stop you from moving forward. And moving forward from the goals you set up now. You know, you, you just feel like you could go back in time. But you can't. And we all know that, obviously. And I explained that in another video too. Remember, your life has a timeline and you need to take advantage of that timeline because if you don't, you will regret it. So make sure that you do not waste any time. Carpe diem. That's right. You know, I think there's value in regret by, by learning what to avoid so we can hopefully not make the same mistakes. Crush it. You gotta crush it. Well, like in uh, Gary Vaynerchuk's book, Crush It. This is a good book. You should really get it. I mean, sure, you got to make the best decisions that you can, but like the famous Nike uh, slogan says, just do it. And like this guy said, do it. So just do it. Do it. So the best way is just to do it. So then why are you uh, talking about it, not I'm doing, doing it? it. I'm doing it You're as talking. I'm talking about it. Do it! Do it! Do it! Do it now! Alright, go away. Do it. <clears throat>